Okay, so that happened. And I guess I shouldn't complain. Nobody made me go see this movie. I do challenge myself to try and see every movie I possibly can in the theater, and I'm never going to stop trying to do that and talk about it because I enjoy it. It's fun. It's, in, it's just uh, something exciting to do, and I'm really passionate about movies. But what I just witnessed tonight is not a movie. It's not a film. It's an exercise by a bunch of idiots. Some people that have used the, the, their talented name and just crapped all over the comedy genre. The spoof genre that once was amazing. You know, in the 70s and 80s and 90s, there was a lot of amazing, talented people from Mel Brooks to the Zucker Brothers to Jim Abrams to Keenan Ivory Wayans to Weird Al Yankovic who've just created some great, wonderful parodies, whether it's a movie or a song. But now, we've just, the last like 10, 15 years, we've just gotten terrible, terrible movies that disguise themselves as comedies. And this is just a perfect example. It's a sequel for, for why? I mean, because the first one came out in January? Because it made a little bit of money? So let's just do it all over again? And a lot worse, because this was just, this wasn't, this, this was terrible. And I, you know, I, I, I'm luckily I didn't have to pay for it. I'm grateful that I have Movie Pass, and I would recommend that nobody ever see this movie. Maybe wait for it on Netflix just so you can see how bad it is, and watch it. Maybe fast forward. You can fast forward to it because you can get through it. Because this is 87 minutes. I'm never going to get back. And I'm okay with that, even though it felt like 87 years of my life that I'm never going to get back. I don't know if I even have the right to complain that much because, you know, again, no one made me go see it. You know, I just... I was just curious. I wanted to see why this actually happened. Why does Marlon Wayans even have a career? I don't know. He... I don't mind crude humor. I really don't mind crude humor. I don't mind foul language. I don't mind bathroom humor. But when you just do bathroom humor just because and you don't really back it up with any kind of interesting characters or any kind of interesting story, it, all it is is it's just fart jokes, poop jokes, secretion jokes. That's all it is. There's no redeeming value in this whole production. Everybody that's a part of this, whatever they added to it is a complete moron. Because really, this was just all about money, just to make money. It wasn't about to entertain an audience. It wasn't about to maybe make them laugh, make them maybe see the world, maybe the, the horror genre in a new light. You know, make, look back at it and make fun of it. No, if you want to do that, you're better off just watching the original scary movie from 2000. It's, that's a much better experience. At least that movie's funny. In my opinion, it is. And some of the movies that came after that, like scary movies, I thought were kind of funny. But ever since that, there hasn't been anything that has appealed to me or maybe even made me even excited about the spoof genre. I think it really needs to go away. I'm really now being convinced that it's gonna that it should go away, but it's not going to. We're probably gonna get this part three of this film. I don't even want to mention the name of this movie. I'll put a poster up so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Of course it'll be in the title. But this is I I I I used to love the spoof genre. It used to want to be one of my favorite genres. I used to look forward to seeing Leslie Nielsen, may he rest in peace. I used to look forward to seeing him in movies. I, I used to look forward to the Zucker Brothers making more, you know, making a making a, a Naked Gun movie. You know, I love love a lot of their stuff. Mel Brooks created some of the greatest films of all time, including. Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. He knew comedy. The Zucker Brothers knew comedy. Jim Abrams knew comedy. Keenan Ivory Waynes, he knew comedy, especially in the 90s. But his offsprings are just, I don't know what they're doing, uh, or his, his relatives, I don't know if they're actually offsprings, but his relatives, they don't know what they're doing. Marlon Wayans, you gotta stop, man. You just gotta go away. You know, go back to film school, if you even went to film school. Go back to comedy school, if you even went to comedy school, and try and produce something that is actually worthy of an audience, worthy of your audience. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, does Marlon Wayans think his audience is just a bunch of idiots? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he does. 
maybe Marlon Wayans is a really nice guy. I bet he is. He's a, probably a funny guy to hang out with. But he should just stick to whatever he's doing in his small circles. Maybe that's what he should do and just stop making movies. I would hope that, that, that this would hopefully be a lesson, but this movie probably made money because it probably cost so, it was probably so cheap to make. I'm rambling on and I, 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 I've already wasted five and a half minutes of your time. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. This, this is just a travesty. It's an exercise in, in a bunch of idiots being them just being idiots. It's an exercise in stupidity. And hopefully you're not watching going to watch this movie anyways. Hopefully you'll just stay away from this film. Cuz you're better off doing that and saving your money, saving your hard-earned money and going to see something you would rather see. But for me, I like to go see everything. I like to give everything a chance, and I'm glad I gave this movie a chance so I could talk about it and tell you how much it is awful, and it's a terrible waste of time. It's not a film, it's not a movie. It's Marlon Williams' home videos. And that's about it. So don't see the film. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life, and it is the worst film so far I've seen in 2014, until we probably get the third part. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLoveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Love Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePod.com. And if you've enjoyed this video review, I don't know how you, if you did. If you didn't, if you did, if you didn't, that's okay with me. Enjoy your life and don't ever see this film. Whatever you do, don't go see it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, great evening. And hopefully the next film I see, anything I see is going to be better than this. Peace. I got to go. I'm tired. I'm freaking out. Later.